Meet David. David lives in a moderate-sized downtown apartment. He enjoys the convenience of the location, but David's rent is a little high, and he often hears his neighbors through the walls. He'd also like to paint his living room, but is not allowed. David considers home ownership instead. He could then paint his living room, hear much less noise through the walls, and thanks to a loan with a low interest rate, pay considerably less for his monthly mortgage than his current rent. To help make his decision, David identifies the present and future costs and benefits of home ownership, including both direct and indirect costs, and concrete versus objective costs. Yes, his mortgage payment would be less, but the house would be larger, which would cause his heating and cooling costs to rise. Currently, David calls the building manager when he has a leaky faucet. With his own home, he would have to budget extra money for surprise repairs. By identifying all possible situations that may impact the cost or benefits of home ownership, David is considering the total cost of ownership (TCO). This is a frequently overlooked business concept, as focusing on short-term savings can hide longer-term expenses, making a bad investment look like a sound one at first glance. TCO considers all costs over the complete life cycle: pre-use, usable life, and post-usable life. TCO is most often calculated when considering IT acquisition or upgrades. The benefit of potential gains in productivity might tempt a company to upgrade a software application. However, there could be hidden expenses such as upgrading workstations, which takes time out of a workday and ties up IT support staff, discovering that some computer hardware is incompatible with the new application, which adds hardware costs, training employees on the new application. Which causes a short-term drop in productivity. TCO can be a challenging analysis to perform because it requires businesses to not only accurately estimate the cost of known problems, but also predict unknown problems that might be discovered later. TCO analyses help businesses understand risk. In David's example, he knew that his home would likely require repairs that he would need to budget for, but he didn't know exactly which repairs these would be. If David were to label each input. Influencing his decision, he would see that he is considering many variables, including sunk cost. He will never recover the money he spent on rent. Time value of money. He doesn't know if it's worth performing his own home repairs. Life cycle costs. The house may need extensive structural work to stay habitable. Contractual conditions. Mortgage rates and the size of the loan. Quality. Quality of life the dwelling offers and the quality of the construction materials. Risk. An unstable housing market might cause him to lose money. Opportunity cost: by buying one house, he is not buying another that might be better. While TCO appears most often in IT considerations, most planning and acquisitions can benefit from a TCO analysis, including vehicle or building improvements, infrastructure, insurance, warranty, maintenance, training, or audit costs, selection of vendors for on-site or off-site support. Ultimately, if David were performing a TCO analysis for a business decision instead, the same basic inputs would apply. Consider the total cost across product development and the whole supply chain, including all aspects of administration, acquisition, operations, quality, performance, and the cost of individual components and parts. Involve engineering, finance, and other functions in TCO analysis. Use TCO to influence decisions beyond sourcing materials. Focus on collaborative initiatives to optimize the lowest TCO. Most basic premises of a TCO analysis are intuitive. It makes sense to consider how much money something costs over the long term instead of only how much it will save you in the short term. However, employing a more structured TCO analysis can help uncover hidden aspects of the decision, assist in identifying important areas that previously went unconsidered, and clarify the priority of the decision within an organization.